Good morning and welcome to day 5 of the Pacific Island Cricket Challenge 2023. We have women's action for you today. The first game being played between Vanuatu women taking on host Fiji. As the table stands currently, we have PNG who played three games and won all three so far. We've got Vanuatu who have played three, one, two. Fiji played three, one, two. So an extremely important game in the context of things to see which team of these two stakes a claim for that second place. PNG right at the top. Standings are going to be extremely important in deciding the opponents for the semi-finals. We have number one playing number four, number two playing number three. So in the context of things, it's going to be quite important. Fiji are batting first in this all-important game. Just have a bit of a delay for the start of play. Umpire is insisting that the batters both wear helmets. It is an ICC tournament and the playing conditions stipulating that helmets need to be worn when facing fast bowlers. The caps are allowed against the spinners. But all seems in readiness now. The Fiji batters making their way out to the middle. We got Kali opening the batting along with Captain Rusi, who's had a phenomenal tournament so far individually. She's an experienced campaigner. Opening the bowling for Vanuatu is Rachel Andrews, the fast bowler from the grandstand in. On the second field, which is adjacent to the women's field, we have the Anzac Barbarians taking on PNG in the first match of the men's draw. Well, all seems in readiness now for this game to begin. Rachel Andrews bowling to Captain Rusi of Fiji. First ball's outside off stump on a length. Rusi lets it go through. Played a very, very good innings against Samoa. Saw her team to victory in that game. Led from the front with both pat and ball. Second ball is very, very similar to the first one. It's a good line, a good length, just outside off stump. Tempting Rusi to possibly go for the cut of the drive. Rusi just happy to let it go through to the keeper. The field employed by Rachel. Just a third man outside the circle. This time it's fuller and inducing the error. Tempting Rusi to go for the drive, who took the temptation, had a swipe at it. But no contact made. This one's fuller again and swinging away. This is a great start by Rachel. Pulling her medium paces, throwing them outside of stump. Tempting Rusi, who's taken the bait a couple of times. Lucky not to have got an edge so far. There's no slips there, though.
This time it's straighter and defended by Rusi. Right of the middle of that bat, making a good sound. Bit of confidence for Rusi after missing those couple outside the off stump previously. Goes for the cut this time. This is slightly shorter, failing to make contact once again. That's the end of the first over. A very good one by Rachel Andrew for Vanuatu. Fiji yet to open their account. None for none after one over. From the far end, Captain Selena Solomon taking up the attack for Vanuatu. Like her counterpart, Fijian Captain Rusi, Selena also very, very inspirational and having a good tournament. Pulls out of her first delivery. Probably something wrong with her run up. This one short and just defended down the wicket. One sh shortish against outside off stump, defended once again. It's been eight dot ball so far, no run scored. Make it nine. Power play, an extremely important part of the T20 game. Sides like to get going in that power play and, and score as many runs as possible. Fiji at the moment just seem content on defending. This one's down leg side and first runs of the morning coming via extras. Possibly striving for some extra pace. Selena Solomon. This one slower and popped up in the air. This falling to the right of the extra cover fielder. Kali extremely lucky. Wrapped on the pads, big appeal, denied by the umpire. is Ateka Isabel Sigmosi Donald Kainoko and she slaps this one back to the bowler the first signs of aggression by the Fiji batters Selena was up to the task to field it end of the second over Fiji won without loss Ateka is wearing Kali's jersey. It's got a big number 5 on it, which is why I thought it was Kali, but the scoreboard has her as Ateka. Rachel continues on that line outside the off stump on a good length. And Rusi once again 
happy to let it go through field a dropping to deep point on the boundary as one shot and she and she cuts it away over backward point for the first boundary of the day first sign of some aggression by the Fiji women it was short it was wide and Rusi taking full advantage Five without loss now. We are in the third over of the morning. Short and wide again and this time the umpire is signaling a wide. Pushing the limits a bit as Rachel Andrews driving possibly for some extra pace. Six without loss. This one short but on leg stump, tucked away to the leg side for a quick single. Fiji slowly getting into the stride of the innings this morning now. take on strike she gets a full toss and puts it away hits it over the cover fielder and once it's over this infield there's no stopping that ball there's some loud cheers coming from the Fiji camp picking up the boundary second boundary of the over Fiji getting a move on 11 without loss now This one's short. And she was caught, caught in two minds whether to defend it or cut it. Ends up missing it in the end. So after a quiet first couple of overs, Fiji finally showing some intent in this power play. Much needed intent. Last ball of Rachel's second over coming up. This one short and goes for the cut, misses it. Be disappointed at missing out. It was short, it was wide. All she needed was a little bit of bat on it. Brings us to the end of the third over, 11 without loss. We had a lot of overnight rain and some brief showers this morning as well. It's good to see the sun coming out. Once that sun is out, you can be rest assured that the outfield is going to be bone dry pretty quickly. The artificial turf though definitely tends to retain some water so the ground staff really working hard to get play underway on time Solomon to continue from the far end this is on a good length outside of stamp and just defended away for a single score moving on to 12 without loss 
just a solitary fielder on the boundary on the offside a deep cover it's also a long off on the boundary now This one's full and off stamp and pushed into cover. No chance of a single there. A taker definitely looking to be the more aggressive of the two openers. This time trying to push it on the offside once again. Cannot find the gap. This time has a wild swing at one. Middle stump out of the ground. It was a length delivery coming back in. And a taker tried to swing it away to the leg side. Missed it completely. Selena Solomon providing the breakthrough for Vanuatu this morning. First wicket to fall is that of a taker. 12 for the loss of one wicket. New batter coming in is Milaya. Coming to join Captain Rusi in the middle. So Milaya makes her way to the middle now. It's going to be facing up to Selena Solomon, who's provided the breakthrough for Vanuatu this morning, picking up the wicket of a taker. Was a slowish start by Fiji this morning for the first couple of overs. The last over. Providing some runs and then a poor shot really by a taker. Having a wild swing at a delivery, good length delivery, losing a middle stump. Left hand of Milai on strike now. She's been wrapped around the pads. First delivery. It's possibly pitched outside leg stump. No, says umpire Sean Campbell. Solomon keeps go bowling on a good length and this one slapped down to long off by Milaya. Bit of a tennis forehand the shot. 
brings about the end of the over. Good figures by Solomon so far. Two overs, one for three. Fiji 13 for one at the end of four overs. Have a change in the bowling. Lemara coming into the attack. Lemara Tastuki. From the grandstand end. This one's a very loopy, slowish kind of ball. And Milaya trying to hit it down to the leg side. Misses it. And swings across the line once again. Misses and it's missed the stumps. It's trying to have a go at everything here. As Milaya. Not really connecting. This one's wide and off the pitch. So it's definitely going to be a no ball. So although it was way outside the off stump, the fact that it's landed off the artificial surface, it's called as a no ball. And there is a free hit signal coming up as well. Just the kind of opportunity Melaya needs. This one's fuller and she waits for it. Just manages to whack it to long on. No timing in the shot. So only a single. Um, it's a good length ball, but just a tad bit outside the off stump. Rusi trying to cut it. Just managed to get a bottom edge of sorts to the fielder, a short third. No run conceded, 15 for 1. A Fiji. This one slowish on a good length. Defended on the offside. So Limara Tastuki not trying to bowl quick at all. She's just looping them up there. Dibbly dobbly medium pace. This one's down leg side and she tries to pull it away. Umpire signaling wide rightly. One run added to the extras. She's gonna to have to re bowl that one. Just focusing on line and length with no pace on the ball at all. This one's really looped up. And Rusi manages to somehow get it down to long on for a single. It's the end of Lemara's over. Four runs coming off her first over. 17 for one are Fiji after five.
have a change in the bowling from the far end as well. Selena Solomon making way for Valenta. Valenta Langiatu coming in from the far end for her first bowl of the match. This one's been placed nicely by Captain Drusi for a single on the offside. Valenta definitely trying to put some pace on the ball. Shortish run up. Milaya to face Valenta now. This is on middle stump and defended straight back to the bowler. She's been trying to swipe across the line quite a bit this morning is Milaya. time on the leg stump and try to turn it away to fine leg S getting a glove on it I think <laughs> Valenta continues they need to get a move on here do Fiji this one's looped up and Valenta swings up so Milaya swings across the line, but the field placing is good. The fielder at the deep mid wicket boundary who stops it to one. Halfway through the sixth over, 19 for one. Swans down lakeside again and wide signal by umpire Sean Campbell. 20 for 1. Only two players fielders allowed outside the circle in the power play. Fiji have not been able to capitalize on this. This time trying to place it on the offside, trying for a quick single. There's a chance of a run out. The keeper appeals. And the umpire gives it. Seems to be some confusion, but Mala has to walk back now. Rusi placed it and called immediately. There was a single there, a quick one. The fielder doing well, rushing to the ball, picking it up, getting it back to the keeper. Keeper breaking the stumps. So Fiji losing the second wicket in the form of a run out. The pressure of the dot balls resulted in a risky single being taken. Which resulted in a run out. Erasito now joining Captain Rusi, batting at number four for Fiji today. Defending this one. It's a good first over by Valenta. 
comes to an end and that's the end of the power play as well 20 for 2 RPG not really managing to capitalize on the fielding restrictions Lemara Tastuki continuing the attack for the Vanuatu woman. And although we've had the end of the power play, Vanuatu just putting out an extra fielder now. This time driven firmly through the covers. It was over pitched. And Captain Rusi finding the gap on the offside. That sounded good off the bat. And an early boundary at the start of the seventh. Fiji need these runs. They've not been able to get off in the power play. So definitely needing boundaries now. This is full toss and taken full toll by Captain Rusi. Fielder at the square leg boundary runs to her right. Gets the throw in, restricts it to a single. Rusi will be disappointed there, not being able to get more of that delivery. She timed it well but could not place it in the gap. Eracito. She's just faced the one delivery so far. Facing a second delivery. Tastuki still content on bo bowling. Slow, loopy. This one's outside the off stump. Eracito letting it go through the to the keeper. There's a steady breeze today. And defended straight down the wicket. Just to keep putting no pace on the deliveries. Wanting the batters to create all the momentum into the shot. And this time, it's straight down the throat. Straight down the throat of Medoff. Where Captain Selena Solomon takes an easy catch. As I mentioned earlier, Tastuki putting no pace on the ball. So timing it is becoming really difficult. Erasito seeing an opportunity, trying to hit her way out. Only managing to find the fielder at mid-off. Third wicket falls for Fiji. It's 25 for 3. We are in the seventh over. Lagakali Lomani now coming out to join her captain Rusi who's seen three Fijian batters being dismissed so far she's holding up one end not out 13 of 70 is captain Rusi she will need some support at the other end if Fiji are to make a match of this Tastuki continues once again looping it up Defended on the front foot by Kali. 
With that, we come to the end of the seventh over. Score remains on 25 for three. Tastuki two overs, one for nine. And it's going to be Valenta to continue from the far end. This one's outside the off stump. A few oohs and ahs from the fielders. She tried to whack it over. Very, very lucky. She caught an outside edge which just fell over the head of short third. Here's the second delivery now. Straighter and on a good length. Defended by Kali. Valenta continues. <laughs> and gets an edge is Kali. Caught by the keeper. Going for an ugly swipe on the leg side again. There's been some poor shots played this morning. And Kali seems to be frustrated and disappointed with herself. She'll have a long time to think about that shot sitting down in the tent there. At 26 for 3, that's not the kind of shot you want to see someone playing. Across the line on a good length delivery, only managing to edge it to the keeper. And departs without actually disturbing the scorers. Out for a duck. 26 for 4. The wickets have come thick and fast this morning. We're only in the 8th over. Karalani Vesu Vakurui Walu is the new batter. Defense this off the front foot. Fiji cannot afford to lose any more wickets this early in the game. Karalani batting number six today. Once again, just defends it. Was on leg stump, but somehow manages to play it on the offside. Could have tucked it around the corner for a single. But she seems very focused on just defending now because they've lost four wickets. Fuller by Valenta. Good delivery. And defended on the offside. It's been a great over. Figures at the moment. Two overs, one for four. By Valenta. And Fiji. Struggling at 26 for four. At the end of the eighth over.
we have a change in the bowling going to see spin for the first time this morning this one short and cut away the fielder does well prevents the single there was a bit of a mix up there for a little while marcelina the new bowler bowling her off spinners starts off with a short one tosses this one up and defended by captain rusi tosses this one up as well and rusi goes for the slow sweep gets it in the gap three fielders converging on that one batters managing to take two runs bit of excitement there in the smallish crowd here at albert park two runs added to the total it's 28 now for four but the slowness of the delivery meant that captain rusi is struggling to time it once again on a good length rocking back cutting it to point It's a good start by Marcelina. Making slight adjustment to the field. Currently, we've got a long off, a long on, and a deep mid wicket on the boundary. Tosses it up, and Rusi plays it on to the on side. To the fielder at short fine. PG wearing their black and red uniform today. The swans outside off stump and no timing in the cut. It was there to be cut but only manages the bottom edge. You can see the frustration for Captain Rusi. He's just not been able to get into a stride today. End of the over. They're finishing very quickly because of the number of dot balls in them. 28 for 4 at the end of 9 Fiji getting stuck here need to step on the accelerator somehow there needs to be some impetus into the innings captain rusi 16 of 24 deliveries out in the middle with karalaini This one's fuller and Garlani goes for a swipe across the line. She'd probably be better off just driving that one to long off for a single, but trying to go for the glory hit over mid wicket. This time has a swipe at this one only manages a bottom edge the frustrations building something's going to give here she's played five balls she's not yet got off the mark the fijian innings not going anywhere at this stage this time valenta helps her by bowling a wide but umpire doesn't call it because he says the batter moved her leg
And this time she managed to make a connection. Does Karalani well, only gets a single down to the, the fielder at deep mid wicket? I've just been told by one of my Fijian friends here that my pronunciation for Rusi's name is wrong. It's actually Rudy. Because in Fiji, the C is pronounced as TH. So thank you for that. Captain Rudy on strike now. Oh, it's a good delivery. She's been wrapped on the pads and up goes the finger. She's been dismissed, LBW. As Captain Rudy making the slow walk back. It looked like she was struck plumb in front. And the Vanuatu women celebrate the fall of wicket number five. It's been a steady procession of wickets here for VG. 29 for five in the 10th over. And the umpire is taking a drinks break. with Fiji in a lot of trouble. We're back on air to continue after that shortest drinks break. Valenta with the final delivery of a third over. Anna Gonerrara is the new batter. Coming at, at the fall of Captain Rudy's wicket. Defends her first ball, end of the 10th, 29 for 5. Valenta with impressive figures of 3 overs, 2 wickets. Only for 5 runs. Fiji in a lot of trouble in this innings. It's an, actually an understatement to say that they're in a lot of trouble. Half their innings has gone through. Half their side is back in the tent. They've scored only 29. And really need to get going here. Marcelina, the off spinner, to continue from the grandstand in to Karalini, who seems intent on finding the mid wicket boundary.
This one's down leg side though. Wide signal by the umpire. Fiji will be happy with these extras. Score moves on to 30 now for the loss of five wickets. Slow this time and misses the stumps. Karalaini as she's tried all throughout her innings, trying to hit this over mid wicket. No contact made. Tossed up this time and misses again. She has been extremely lucky and the bowler has been extremely unlucky not to have a wicket here. Captain Selena looking at Karalaini's intentions, making changes to the field. Two fielders on the boundary on the leg side now. Tossed up once again and it turns. That's a great delivery. It was on middle stump. Karalani went to defend it. And there's just enough turn to take it past the edge. It's been a great over. So far. Just the one wide and then three dot balls. Get the feeling that something's going to give you. <laughs> Caroline getting a shoelace is tied. Is ready once again. And this time she gets an ugly hike and the top edge. I just said that there's something going to give in this over. You just had that feeling. Karalani going for yet another swipe across the line. Only managing in getting a top edge. Straight to the hands of the fielder at short third man. And Fiji lose wicket number 6. 30 for 6 now. The innings in complete disarray. Getting to 50 from here is going to be an uphill task. And playing out their 20 overs seems like climbing a mountain. Sulia Vuni is the new batter. Joining Anna Gonerara. Anna just faced the one deliveries. Sulia yet to face her first. Fiji on 30 for 6. We are in the 11th over. This time defended by Sulia. Tossed up and beats the outside edge is Mar Marcelina. End of a very successful over. Two overs gone. 
One for three. Eleven overs gone now in the Fiji innings. Thirty for six is the score. They need a partnership, and they need it in quick time. They've got nine overs left. Chilia now into the attack. Neti Chilia from the far end. Tosses this one up. Slow and loopy once again. Chilia comes in again for a second delay. Short this time and try to cut it away. Didana. Failing to make contact, just like Lemara Tastuki, Chilia to not putting any any pace on the ball, making the batsman do all the hard work. Short once again and tapped onto the offside for a single. Throw comes in, but the batters have made it. A run of the bat after a long time. 31 for six. The total moves to. Short once again and pulled away to a wideish long on fielder there. Only a single taken. 32 for 6, the score moves on to. It's time defended. On to the leg side. I think it's a catch 22 situation for Fiji. Uh, they need runs, but they don't have many wickets left. So the batters can't really go all out and attack now. Once again, good length delivery just defended on the offside. End of an over by Neti Chilia. Just two runs off it. Fiji moving on to 32 for 6 after 12 overs. Off spinner continues from the grandstand and getting a bit of turn, tapped away onto the leg side. Marcelina bowling her off spinners very, very effectively. Anna Gonerara on strike now. This one shortish, tapped on the offside. The fact that they've lost six wickets and the score is only 33 means that one or two captain Selena Solomon can afford to keep all the fielders inside the circle, saving the single, squeezing, squeezing the batters. 
not allowing any runs to be taken. Scoreboard's going nowhere. We've got to show some aggression. Maybe dance down the wicket, try and hit one over the top. Short, and this is cut away and straight into the hands of short third man. She got a top edge. Not rolling her wrists over the ball. Wicket number seven falls. 33 for seven now, Fiji. Situation just keeps getting from bad to worse. Width on offer, she tried to cut it away, failed to roll her wrist. Simple catch to the fielder at short third man. And Anna Gonerara departs. Celia Levatu strides out to the middle. To join Sulia Vuni. Number eight and number nine at the crease for Fiji now. Sulia Vuni batting on two from four deliveries. Celia Levatu just arriving. The other thing is that number 8 and number 9 don't often get to bat too much in a T20 game, which means they won't be used to this situation. And as an ugly swipe across the line, first delivery. Marcelina Mete tossing it up, inviting the drive of the slot sweep. Missing it was the batter, Celia Levatu. Short this time, defended, and there's a mix-up. There's always a mix-up on when there are lower-order batsmen present at the crease. Somehow they managed to get through for a single because there was a slight misfield there by the fielder at point. It's end of an over, three overs gone for Marcelina. Impressive figures of two for five from them. Fiji at 34 for seven. Neti Chilia from the far end to continue. Sulia on strike. Oh, and it's just bolder. Straight delivery, played down the wrong line. Off stump knocked back. Leads to wicket number eight. Sulia Vuni missing a straight one from Neti Chilia. Fiji sinking lower and lower into a hole. Thirty four for eight now. I beg your pardon, it was in fact Celia Levatu who was dismissed, not Sulia Vuni. Valenta, the wicket taker from the far end, tosses this one up and defended by the new batter. Kiera Amo. Mm. 
Short is short side the off stump. Once again defended on the off side. 34 for 8 as the total. Short is on the off stump and misses it. The keeper missing the ball. Allowing for a bye to be taken. Sulia Muni continuing defense this one from Valenta who's got really impressive figures into her fourth over now 3.4 overs 3 for 5 short and tucked away to the onside for a quick single Thirty six for eight after fourteen uh, are Fiji. Six overs left, two wickets in hand. I think the first objective will be to make sure they play out those six overs. I'm not sure the lower out of batters are capable of doing that. In front of the strong one or two bowling performance. Of spinner Marcelina to continue and finish off a spell. She comes back for a fourth over. She's been really good today. Tosses this one up again and just defended by Sulia. Second delivery defended once again. Seems to be some discrepancy here as to who the batter at the other end is. This one's pulled away. Rachel Andrews with the ball. Oh, as a child, the stumps and misses. There's a chance of a run out. She probably could have just thrown it back to the bowler as well. Sulia Buni was struggling. But Rachel Andrew having a shot at the stumps. Missing. Singleton completed. Ili Vema, as per the scoreboard, is on strike. I think it might just be. Kiera move. Marcelina tosses it up, tries to hoik it away, only finds the short mid wicket fielder as the batter. is short and try to tap it on the offside misses it end of a fantastic spell of bowling by Marcelina four overs two wickets for only six runs it's a, those are great figures in any form of cricket but in T20 cricket they become extremely impressive One what who have had two of their bowlers, Valenta and Marcelina, picking up wickets and only giving runs in single figures of their four over spells. Captain Solomon is back now. Selena Solomon wanting to wrap up things in a hurry. 15 overs gone, 37 for 8. 
Off EG. Some sort of confusion here. Between the umpires and the scorers, possibly. I wonder if it's to do with the batter at the non striker end. She's wearing jersey number 10, which on the sheet says that it is should be Kiara Mo. But they've got her as Ilivema Erena Vula. Solomon starts a fresh over. It's down leg side and the keeper misses it too, allowing batters to cross over for a single. Umpire Sean Campbell rightly signaling wide delivery. Two added to the score, none to the batter. 39 for 8 now. Afiji, it's been a long, arduous struggle here this innings has. Defended. No run taken. This time defended once again. The dot balls have been the story of the innings. Short, but down the leg side. Once again, a wide signaled. This is what happens if you play out your 20 overs. You pick up all these extras on the way. So that should always be your first target. This one's on a good length outside off stump. Just tapped away for a single. Score moves on to 41 for 8 now. It's quite a strong breeze blowing across the ground today. The fielders will be welcoming in these hot, humid conditions that we have in Suva. One spin, a short arm jab towards the fielder at mid wicket. There's a mix up, throw comes in. The batter lucky to get in. She was caught ball watching there for a moment. But makes her ground. Score moves on to. 43, 42 for 8, I beg your pardon. Two deliveries to come. This one straighter and beats the outside edge. She's trying to poke at it with an angled bat. Once again, Beaten outside the off stump, brings to an end. An over by Selena Solomon. Three overs, one wicket for only eight runs. So after 16 overs, Fiji 42 for 8. It's been a tedious, tedious innings this one. Runs have been hard to come by. Wickets have fallen at regular intervals. No Fijian batter, no Fijian batter has been able to 
break the shackles Alvina Chilia now taking up the attack from the grandstand in Sulion strike Swans outside off stump and defended I do understand what they're trying to do here and trying to play out the 20 overs but if they block 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 and made no attempt to score it's not going to help their cause much this one's outside of stump and let alone left alone to go to the keeper tossed up and beaten On a good length this time, spinning in, left alone by the batter. She's been in there for 13 deliveries now, has Sulia. She needs to make an attempt to score some runs. Swan's tossed up and driven and running with the shot. Two mid off, single completed. Ilvema or Kiera on strike now. That's outside of stump once again and beaten. Brings to an end. Alvina Chilia's first over. One over. Just one run conceded. Fiji 43 for 8 after 17 overs. Solomon starts a new over from the far end. Manages to squeeze that to the short fine leg. Is Sulia Booney. Score moves on to 44 for 8. Can Fiji get to 50? Is the big question here. And beaten once again. Outside the off stump. Is Erena Vula she's been tried to play it on the onside, missing it completely. She's got one of 13 deliveries, she's stuck it out there. But what Fiji really need is someone to stick there and score some runs as well. Beaten once again, dot ball after dot ball, the pressure is building. This one was a quicker one by Selena Solomon. Kept out by the batter. Another dot ball. Once again, as soon as it's on a good length, she's getting beaten on the offside. Selena Solomon, yet another bowler to finish her spell for Vanuatu. Four overs, one for nine. The third bowler to finish her four over spell and concede only single figure runs. 18 gone, 44 for eight. Afiji. Some instructions being shouted by the Fijian tent. 
Not sure it's going to make much of a difference to this innings. Fiji will require a miracle to get out of this hole. Chilia continues, defended once again by Sulia. Alvina Chilia with her off spinners. This is short and hit away just over her head for a quick single. No timing at all on the shot. It's plopped over the bowler's head. After a brief interruption, play resumes. Alvina Chilia tosses this one up. Better plays all over it. Completely missing. This time tossed up. And white towards square leg. Rachel Andrew doing the fielding. This one's on a good length. And misses. Been the story of the inning so far. Play and a miss, play and a miss. Dot ball after dot ball. <coughs> Tossed up and tried to hit that away. Only managing to find the fielder at cover. Captain Selena Solomon taking a good catch. Wicket number nine falls for Fiji. The last batter striding out to the middle. Mariani Rodan. It was the end of the over. Rachel Andrew to bowl the last one. Bowls this one. Rodan just strikes it. Straight to the fielder. At cover. No run taken. The pace is being too much for the tail enders. And she whacks this one down to long on, thinking of a single but deciding against it. 
Three dot balls in the 20th over of the innings. Fiji stuck on 46 for 9. Can they get to 50? And this one is whacked and took cover. Fantastic piece of fielding by Captain Selena Solomon there. Having a shot at the stumps. But not hitting them. Batters cross through for a single. 47 for 9 is the score. As Ilivema on strike now. Defending again. It's the final delivery coming up. And she's tried to hit it away straight to the fielder. A bizarre innings comes to an end. 47 for 9 from 20 overs. They haven't been bowled out. If you just read the scorecard, you'll be surprised to see only 47 runs scored in 20 overs for the loss of 9 wickets. But it's been an innings that has struggled right through. Wickets falling at regular intervals. No better managing to get away. Only captain Rudy managing to get into double figures 16 of 25 and Vanuatu women really squeezing this innings the bowling figures for them exceptional Valenta 4 overs 3 for 6 Marcelina 4 overs 2 wickets for 6 Alvina Chilia 2 overs 1 for 3 Selena Solomon 4 overs 1 for 9 those figures tell a story that Vanuatu have been in complete control of this first innings and Fiji are going to require a miracle to come back and win this one. To see what happens in the second innings, do join us in about 10 minutes time when we come back to bring you the run chase by Vanuatu.
वेलकम बैक टू एल्बर्ट पार्क इन सू अफीजी फॉर द रंचेज बाय द वन वर्ट टू वुमन इफ यू जस्ट ज्वाइनिंग अस डोंट बी सरप्राइज एट द स्कोरबोर्ड दैट यू आर लुकिंग ऑन योर स्क्रीन एट द मोमेंट Fiji women managing only 47 for 9 in their 20 overs. It's been a long arduous and slow innings by Fiji. Only the captain Rudy managing to get into double figures. Nobody else could get a measure of this track or the one word to bowling. One over to batters are already out in the middle for the run chase. They need 48 from 20 overs. Karalaini, the left arm quick, bowling from the far end. And opening the batting for one over to. Rachel Andrew and Valenta All in readiness for the run chase Rachel facing up to Caroline This one's outside of stump Left alone by Rachel oh, It's a very unique action that Caroline Ives who has runs in hard almost stops at the crease without the use of her other arm second delivery wide signal by umpire shawn campbell one over to women open their scoring one for no loss still in the first over One over to will try and make short work of this run chase. They don't want to be out there in the heat for too long. The swans outside off stump tapped away on the offside for a quick single. Running with the shot, Rachel off the mark. The field for Caroline. She's got a sweeper cover on the boundary and a long on. Everybody else is inside the circle. This time a good delivery on good length, just outside off time. Big follow through. Not sure it's warranted for the amount of pace that we are seeing on offer. Valenta, who was very very impressive with the ball, now opening the batting and slaps this one to mid off. single taken once again running with the shot they are very quick between the wickets are these one or two girls in comes karalaini who that's a good delivery beats rachel Looks like it might have come back a bit. Beats her on the inside edge. It's 
Three without loss, one delivery to go in the first over. Shot and edged away. Pass slip. The fielder from point running and clearing up. The thought of a second but sent back wisely by Rachel Andrew. So at the end of the first over, score moves on to four without loss. That's a lot more than what one were to require to win this game. They need just over two and a half runs and over, just about less than two and a half runs and over actually to win this contest. So in that aspect it's been a good start. To open the bowling from the grandstand in. It's going to be Captain Rudy. Rudy Murialo. She did bowl very well in the previous game. This time it looks like she might be bowling some seam up rather than off spinners. Andrew taps it to cover. No chance of a single. Swans on a good length just outside of town. Let's it go through to the keeper. They're in no hurry, are these one or two women? This time it's a great delivery. Beating Rachel, beating her defense. Opened up her up slightly. In comes Rudy. Fuller this time taken on the full. Whacked away to mid wicket. No addition made to the score in this over so far. Fuller again and whacked away. In the gap. It was in the air but it was in the gap. Between mid off. And the fielder at cover. Four runs is the result. Rolling away to the extra cover boundary. So all the hard work done by Captain Rudy in the first four deliveries. Undone by the shot by Rachel Andrew. Score moves on to eight without loss. We are only in the second over here. This time she goes back to her line and length outside off stump. Rachel lets it go through the keeper. End of the second over. Eight without loss. Avanoa two. Require 40 more runs from 18 overs to win this. been a change in the bowling at the far end Anna Gonerara replacing Karalani driven driven by Valenta straight to cover This one's fuller again. And Anna manages to get a hand on it. 
knocks off the bails at the non striker's end the non striker was well in her crease couple of dot balls to start the spell for anna conerara this time there's a big appeal and given it was clearly some sound i'm not sure if it was ball hitting bat or bat hitting ground but valenta doesn't seem impressed with that decision not happy at all still shaking her head as she walks off that's sort of big scream as she walks off the ground Early success for Anna Gonerara in her spell. Follows up a wicket taking delivery with a wide. Really Nova is the new batter. Batting number 3 today. she tries to cut this away through the offside missing it's a good line and a length byana she's managed to keep all the batters quiet so far picked up the wicket as well as once a full toss though undoing all the hard work that she's done so far in the over Anybody batting number 3 for their national side is not going to miss out on that one. It was a gift. Full toss on leg stump. Really no up. Puts it away in the gap on the leg side between short fine leg and square leg. Four runs added to the total. Score moving on to 13 for the loss of one wicket. We're still in the third over of this run chase. Wanawatu looking well on track to achieve this target. Slight change in the field now. This time drift down the leg side wide signal bump by Sean Campbell. This time, flaying once again, trying to flay the ball through the offside. It's really Nova misses it. End of Anna Conerara's first over. Fourteen for one the score. Three overs gone. Ali coming on to bowl from the grandstand in First delivery just outside of stump left by Rachel Andrew Laga Kali Lomani looks like she's bowling a medium paces this one's way outside the off stump in fact 
I think it might have landed outside the pitch. Umpires conferring. I think we're going to see a no ball signal shortly. No ball signaled. Which means this is going to be yet another free hit now. It's the second time this has happened in the match. We had one from the Vanuatu women earlier landing outside the wicket. Rachel Andrews has a swing at this one. Asking the umpire for a wide. Denied. Misses it. No damage done. Kali staying out of the arc. Once again, I think the first bounce was on the wicket, but the ball ended up outside it. Hence, it's been called wide on this occasion. Kali tosses this and no timing there for Rachel. Try to really throw the kitchen sink at him, just getting an underage on, on the ball. Squirts away to short third man. Kali continues. This one's a full toss taken on the full. Rachel Andrews trying to Whack it away, only manages in getting a top edge. Fielder comes in from deep square leg, does the fielding. One run taken, score moves on to 17 for one. Once again, a single taken to short fine leg this time. They're keeping the scoreboard moving. Try to pull it away, but again, the lack of pace resulting in the lack of timing. This one short and whacked away on the offside. It made a good sound of the bat. Fielder collects it, but enough time for a single as well. With that, we come to the end. Is it? No. One delivery to go. Come still. No, that's it. That's the over bold. Kali finishes the first over. Five for Noel Wicket. Her figures after her first over. One over to 19 for the loss of one wicket after four. It's been a good decent start by them so far, going at almost 5 and over. Requiring a further 29 only to win this contest. 16 overs to go. Now got the ball in her hands from the far end. Batted number three today. Starts off with a short one that's pulled away by Rachel. It's going down to the final leg boundary. Four runs. The fielder ran from deep backward square to final leg trying to stop the ball but it was too quick. The timing on this one was really good by Rachel. Score moves on to 23 for the loss of one wicket.
We wait for the ball to come back. We've got vast outfields at Albert Park, which means once the ball goes beyond the boundary, it still keeps traveling for a fair distance. It does take a bit of time to get it back. And I was all ready. This time it's driven by Rachel, but fielded well by the bowler in her follow through, stopping the single. It's 23 for 1, and we're in the fifth over of the run chase. This has been whacked away on the onside this time over mid wicket. The ball's running away, but long on, deep long on, running to her right, does well to cut it off. Two runs added to the total. Score moves on to 25 for one. And we're halfway in the fifth over. This could be an early finish in this game, very much on the cards, requiring only 48 to win. Avanuatu making quick work of this. Short and it's just bolder. This was a short ball. Rachel Andrew could have hit this anyway. I wonder if she just got a bottom edge on it. It looks like that, that she got a bottom edge back onto her stumps. Losing a wicket. Not the best deliveries. The Melaya has bowled, but ends up picking up a wicket against the run of play. Vanuatu losing the second wicket, 25 for 2 now. We are in the fifth over, and Melaya providing a much needed breakthrough. Captain of Vanuatu, Selena Solomon now has made her way to the middle. Vanuatu only 23 away from victory. They would want to finish this off quickly, get off the park as soon as they can. Milaya continues. This is full and back to mid wicket. Showing her intentions quickly. The ball's running away. Long chase for the fielder. From long on to her right. Batters have enough time to get three runs. It's 28 for two now. time whacked away once again and it's really in this time they're peppering that mid wicket region all the time picking up singles and runs at will keep strike with that single is really in score moves on 29 for 2 19 needed for victory now Five overs have gone by. It's the final over of the power play. And Rudy, Captain Rudy, coming back into the attack. Oh, 
move. This is a good delivery, a big appeal. It was turned this time. I think she's resorted to bowling her off spinners now. Raylene didn't know much about that last delivery. Faces up again, tossed up on middle stump. Tried to sweep that away. There's a bit of confusion in the running between the wickets. Yes, no. No damage done. Good start by Rudy to her second over. This time she's tried to hit it over mid wicket. Simple catch taken by the fielder at mid wicket in an attempt, I think, to get to this target quickly. One word over men are going after the bowling. They're lucky that they don't have a huge target to chase. Alvina Chilla now strides out to the middle to join her captain Selena Solomon in the middle. Rudy with the wicket in her second over. 29 for 3 now, one or two. Acquiring 19 further runs for victory. Tossed up and swinging across the line is Alvina Chilla. I'm not sure what these one or two batters are up to. Yes, they've got a small target to chase, but they've got a lot of time to do it in. They don't need this kind of harakiri. This is well defended and single not taken. <laughs> Tossed up and tried to drive it on the onside. No timing in the shot. That's the end of the over. A good one by Rudy. A maiden wicket, in fact. Two overs, one for four, her figures. And at the end of the power play, it's 29 for three. One over to require a further 19 from 14 overs. Karalani back into the attack, brings one back, surprises Captain Selena Solomon with the movement. I know I've said this before when I keep humming and harping about this, but it's a very, very unusual action on display here by Karalani. Full toss, slapped away on the onside, quick single taken. So one or two move to 30, 30 for three now, 
18 further runs required. a very good day if you are a better today at least in the women's game it's a short and down the leg side and Alvina lets it go wide signaled Fiji helping Manua to scores here by providing some extras if only defending 47 so really cannot afford the luxury of extras in this innings. It's time, some pace outside the off stump. Tap to the covers. Single taken, good running between the wickets. Selena Solomon facing Carolini. Full toss and it's a gift. But there's a fielder well placed there. Mm. Covering the long leg area. Single taken. Score moves to 33 for 3 now. Been a good effort this. By Karalani, she's bowling with some heat. Defended back to the bowler by Alvina Chilia. One delivery to go in the seventh. It's 33 for three the score. And this one's whacked by Alvina, straight down the ground for a single. Fielder comes in from mid off, does the fielding 34 for 3 now. It's the end of the seventh over. Fifteen more required for one or two to win this game. Selena Solomon would want to be there till the end to see her side through. Full toss and whacked down the ground to long on. Single taken. It's Anna Gonerara from the grandstand end this time. She bowled her first over from the far end. So lots of chopping and changing being done by Captain Rudy. Thirty-five for three now, requiring a further fourteen to win this game. In fact, a further thirteen. The target's only forty-eight. Oh, that's a full toss once again. And it's same result, single taken down to long on. Didn't time it very well. He practicing her shot now at the non-striker's end. This was full and tucked away on the leg side. 
Three singles of three balls here. So getting a move on. Now Vanuatu. We want to finish this before the first ring breaks, looks like. Don't want to spend any more time in the seat before the semi finals tomorrow. This time it's driven, but mid wicket cuts it off. Short mid wicket. Short and wide outside of stump. Selena wanting a wide umpire, not giving one. Go stays on 37 for three. Once again, wide outside the off stump and not given. Brings the end of the over. Eight overs gone, 37 for three. 11 more required. It looks like the writing's on the wall as far as Fiji is concerned in this game. They are going to have to. Hope for a miracle to win this from here now. In fact, a couple of miracles. Maybe a dual hat trick of sorts. Oh, and she edges this one. It's she's so lucky. And it fell short of the fielder running in at short third. Single completed nevertheless. 38 for 3 now, 10 required. As Melaya continues from the far end. Oh, she's swinging this time over mid wicket once again. It's a poor shot by someone of the stature of Selena Solomon. Just a wild swing. Shaking her head. She knows she's better than that. But she's been gifted with a full toss on leg stump and she puts away in some style. Easter's next month but Selena Solomon gets an Easter gift from Melaya. Gift wrapped with a red ribbon saying help yourself please. 42 for 3 now. Six more required to win this game. And whacked away on the one side once again. She really wants to finish this off in a hurry. Forty-three for three is the score. Five more required. Alvina Chilia. And she finishes finish it off in this over oh, are we going to have a 10th over oh she goes big over mid wicket there's a fielder getting under it drops it she was perfectly placed to take the catch covered the ground got underneath it 
but somehow manages to shell it through her fingers. Alvina Chilia gets a life. Two runs added to the total. Score moves on to 45 for three. We are three runs away from the conclusion of this match now. And hit straight. Once again a drop chance. This went straight to the fielder at short mid wicket. And she's grasped it once again. This is really poor fielding by Fiji. Two chances of two balls. 46 for three at the end of the ninth. We require Vanuatu requiring two more runs to win this game. And we're all set for an early finish. Captain Rudy starts her third over from the grandstand in. One or two women requiring two more runs to win. And this one's way down lakeside. I'm sure that's going to be a wide. There's one of the two. So only one more required now for victory. Shot and smacked away on the offside. That's the winning runs. 48 for 3 and that's the end of the game. One or two women winning in style. Comprehensive victory over Fiji this one. They did really well to restrict Fiji to only 47 in their 20 overs. And then themselves polishing off the total. In less than 10 overs. Picking up their third win of the tournament. Now plays second behind PNG on the table. Fiji on the other hand, a lot of time to think about today's game. Nothing's gone right for them today. Nothing with the bat, nothing with the ball. And it's a big defeat for them just before the semi-finals begin tomorrow. The players shaking hands shortly. And the news from the center is that Vanuatu have comprehensively beaten Fiji women in this women's encounter, picking up the points and moving to the second place on the points table of the women's draw. We'll be back with you for the second game of the day, which will be played between PNG and the Anzac Barbarian women. And that game begins at 2 o'clock this afternoon. We'll be on air about 5 minutes before that. Until then, it's goodbye and good afternoon from your commentator Rahul Patil. Thank you very much for watching.
first? Yeah, she'll go first. Yeah. Yeah. Test. Can you hear me? Good afternoon and welcome once again to a post-match presentation ceremony on day 5 of PIC 2023. We've had a women's game today where Vanuatu women have comprehensively defeated the Fijian side. It's been a 7-wicket victory with more than 10 overs remaining in the game. To talk about the game, we first got the captain of Fiji, Rudy, may I please have you here? Rudy, welcome and I must apologize to you. I'm going to make sure I call you Rudy and not Rusi this time. I've got a lot of messages online saying, hey, it's Rusi, Rudy, not Rusi. All right. So hard luck today, but um, how would you describe that game for us today? Well, um, these young girls, uh, we are prepared to play against the Vanuatu, but we told them that we are going to play against them in the semifinals. That's why they slack up the... Today for today's game, eh? so because they knew we were going to play against them again tomorrow. Yes, as you rightfully say, you are going to play this team again in the semi-final. Um, what can we expect with the batting? I mean, none of the batters today seem to get going. Yeah. Um, how are we going to improve on that? Uh, we have uh, our opening batsman who was sitting outside. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to use her, and uh, maybe we can uh, fill up that gap again. Uh, for tomorrow's competitions. Is there going to be any um, kind of disappointment from this game flowing on to the next game or are we going to see a completely charged up Fiji side tomorrow? Uh, we're going to see the completely the Fiji teams tomorrow than as a main team eh, tomorrow yes, and we will try to maybe do some surprise for our supporters sitting up here on top. Fantastic. We're expecting a big crowd watching you girls tomorrow. Um, so uh, we'd love to be entertained. Uh, hard luck today and all the best for the semifinals tomorrow. Thank you very much. So that was Captain Rudy from Fiji. We now have the winning captain with us, Captain Selena Solomon. Can you please join us? Seems to be that whenever you've got to do these interviews, you decide to win games. <laughs> And yesterday when there was no interview to be done, we saw a bit of a different performance. Is that the reason or is it just a fantastic performance from the girls today? I think it was just fantastic uh, performance, especially on the fielding side. So, yeah, and also my luck, so I don't get to interview when we lost. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Tell me something, we saw immaculate line and lengths. Was this pre-planned, was this in the planning of the team that you know you were going to bowl in particular areas? Um, so it's, uh, most of our bowlers are they have run ups. So what we did was just ball straight stumps because it's wet and you don't want to get injured. So we, today we our plan was just to attack the stumps. If they miss it, we'll take them. Yep. And um, pretty confident, obviously, in the halfway stage of chasing down a small total. Was there a conscious effort to finish it off quickly and get off the ground so that you can rest? <laughs> yep, that was the whole reason why girls are like just finish it so we can rest for tomorrow because tomorrow is a big day again. Fantastic. You've played four games in four days and I clearly, you know, you need a day's break. So it was a good win. Uh, you're playing the same side tomorrow. Uh, thoughts about the semi-final? Uh, look, we played Fiji um, twice sit back in 2015 and they beat us the second time. So we're not going to take the game lightly. We're not going to come with our 100%. So, yeah, to give our all tomorrow. Fantastic. You've entertained us today. Uh, keep the good work up and all the best for the semi-finals. Thank you so much. Thanks, Selena. So that was Selena Solomon, the captain of Vanuatu. We now invite the player of the match, Valenta, to please join us. Valenta, when was the last time you did an interview for player of the match? Um, last year in the Pacific Cup, was hosted in Vanuatu. Fantastic. You bowled extremely well today. Three overs, six runs, three wickets. Uh, what can you tell us? What was the secret of your success? And I just bowled straight like to my stamps, aim stamps, and I take wickets. And if there's a chance for wicket and wicket, and there's a chance for like uh, run out or nick, yeah, that's it. 
You make it sound very simple, but bowling straight is probably the most difficult thing to do in cricket. Bowling wide seems to be a lot easier. Um, how do you control that line and length so well? Mm, I don't know. Just the arm comes out straight, does it? <laughs> okay, tell us a bit about your batting. Were you, are you working on it? Are you disappointed today with the way? Yeah. I'm disappointing on my parting because, I don't know, I thought I didn't nick because, you know, I was very disappointed. But yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll do my best to... We saw a loud scream by you when, as you were coming out of the ground <laughs> and you threw your pads away and your gloves away in disgust. Uh, cricket's a great level, though. You get some, you don't get some. Uh, all the best. You bowled really well. Uh, you're playing Fiji tomorrow, so more of the same. Is that what we're going to see from you? What? You're playing the same team tomorrow. <laughs> Are we going to see more of the same from you? Yes, but yes, I'll do my best. Bowling and then batting, I have to score 50 or 100, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks for the entertainment. All the best for the semi-finals. Thank you, Valenta. So that was Valenta, our player of the match. With that, we come to the end of this presentation ceremony. The news from the center is that Vanuatu women have beaten Fiji women in this women's encounter. Both teams make it to the semi-finals, though, and they'll be playing that semi-final tomorrow. Thank you for watching this coverage, and we'll be back with you with some more action shortly.
Thank <laughs> you. 